Greetings. First step. Use infrared declaration for variables. Like this. So when you have variable with value, just use this syntax and variable will be recognized by the system. Second tip, when you work with arrays, add one comma after last entry. So when you work with array, one comma after the last entry, will do a better allocation of memory. Next tip. Always define what's the return of the function. This function, ready, returns nothing, void. If, you, if your function returns something, for example, integer, write it. So this function returns something and this is integer. Next step. When you declare arguments in your function, write every argument you want to use. If you are not sure about using argument, argument create them like this and uh, you will not uh, get warnings about this argument. Next step. If you want to create a loop, don't use a rank. Just write the number of times you want loop to iterate. So create something like this for f in 5 means this iterate f plus 1 times or a 5 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Next tip. When you define properties, you don't need to use set or a get. Just use the definition of property. And then after equal sign, define the property when you set it or just use the value of property to get it. So this is setter. This is setting of value. And this will be getting of value. For example, you can do it like this. For a better code readability, use region, like this. So this is the beginning of region, this is the end of region. And you can use it like this. When you don't need it, just use it like this. If you want fast creation of some uh, code part to be region, select what you want to put in the re region. Uh, right click on it and in a context menu find create code region like this and you will get it. This code will normally work 
but uh, will be part of this region. Next step. When you start one project, don't change Godot version. For example, if you start in uh, 4.2, finish the project in 4.2. Because every new project are with the new changes. And you will lose a lot of time if you want to update on all of changes. So again, one project, one version. Next step, whenever is possible, use preload for any wrestles you want to use in your video game. For example, some uh, image file. Use preload and file will uh, load again with initialization of the script. Load only for situation with dynamic files. So use preload. Next step, whenever is possible, combine for loop with if branching. If you have something like this, one if, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and who knows how many, whatever you do, however it is important, try to make a coding with a for loop. For example, you can create something like this. So uh, you put some important data first in a race, then you create for loop for a iteration time of every if, then you use if and uh, everything what is important to do in, a, in this uh, kind of um, branching, but everything is repeated 40 and I don't know how many times. This is the correct uh, way if you want to, to code uh, like professional. So try to change this way of programming so if 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 if, if etc this will be all for this um, lecture with tips goodbye